Let's start by sitting comfortably with our eyes closed and be aware of your body. Now we will lie down on our back in Chagna Asana with our feet shoulder width apart and palms facing up. This is the pose we will be going back to while resting in between poses. Remember to breathe. Take deep breaths in and out. Now roll onto your left side and sit up with legs crossed. Samvahan tone up. Use your palms to gently press on the front of your face and towards the heart. Now do the same for the back of your head and neck towards the heart, keeping the palms in contact with your body. Extend the left arm and with your right hand, squeeze the top side of your left arm and towards the heart. Now do the same for the underside of your left arm. and repeat on the other side, the left hand pressing the upper side of the right arm. And now the underside. Use both palms to press on your lower abdomen and towards the heart. Now press on the tailbone and lower back towards the heart. Extend your left leg and with both hands, squeeze the leg from toes to the heart. And repeat on the right leg. Now lie down in Chagna Asana. Lie down with palms facing up and feet shoulder width apart. Phelan, bring both knees towards the chest and gently wrap your arms around them. Roll to the left side, then the right, alternating sides. Roll three times each side. You can keep your head on the floor to stretch the spine through the neck. Rest in Chagna Asana. Pod Sanchalan. Now slowly do a bicycle motion with your leg. Extend each leg five times. and rest in Chagna Asana.
Pavan Mukt Asana, Knee to Chest. Draw the left knee towards the chest and hold for about 5 seconds. Release the left foot and extend the leg. Repeat on the right side by bringing the right knee to the chest. Now one more time on both sides. You can also flex the foot to give a deeper stretch. And rest. Other side. and rest. Uti Ekapod Asana Raise your left leg as far as you can while keeping a straight leg. Make sure the left foot is flexed. Go as far as is comfortable. Release the leg slowly and repeat on the right side. and release. Now two more times on both sides, raising the left leg, holding each time for about 10 seconds, and lowering the left leg, right leg, Release. Last time, left leg. Release. And right leg. Release and rest in Chagna Asana. Sarvang Asana, Shoulder Stand. Start by lying with the feet and legs aligned with your body. Make sure there is nothing under your head and try not to look around because you could hurt yourself. Draw your legs towards your body and keep them straight so they are perpendicular to the rest of your body. You can stay in that position if it is enough, or if you feel you are ready, you can raise your hips off the floor with your legs remaining straight, shooting for the ceiling. Make sure that your body weight is on your shoulders and release slowly into Chagna Asana once you are ready. Katyasana or bridge. 
Bend your knees, bringing your ankles towards your thighs and hip distance apart. Gently press your pelvis up, making sure the weight is on your shoulders and your feet. Place your arms towards or holding your ankles with the palms down. And hold this for about 5 to 10 seconds. Now release. Now we will repeat this two more times. Press the pelvis up, making sure the weight is not on your neck, but on your shoulders. And release. And again. and release. Rest in Chagna Asana. Roll over your left side and onto your stomach. Pujang Asana or Cobra. Place your feet so your heels and toes are touching. Place your palms under your shoulders and lift with the upper body, not putting in any weight into the hands as they're just there for balance and rest. We'll do this two more times. And again, only using the back muscle to raise and release. Once more. And release. You can rest with your chin or your cheek onto the mat and bring your palms back towards your legs. Ardha Shalab Asana. Place your feet so your heels and toes are together. Put your chin on the mat and lift the left leg, keeping it straight. And lower and rest. Then the right leg, keeping it straight. and release. Two more times alternating each leg. The left leg release the right leg release. Last time, left leg. Making sure that the leg is straight and you're raising it from the hip. And release. The right leg. and release. Roll onto your back and rest in Chagna Asana before the next pose. Roll onto your left side and come to a seated pose with the legs extended. Vajra Asana or seated pose. Fold your legs under you, left then right, so you're sitting on your knees. And hands placed on your thighs 
with your back straight, breathing comfortably. Now, extend your legs by unfolding them left leg, then right. Now, return to Vajra Asana, sitting comfortably on your knees. Shashank Asana. Bend from the waist and extend the arms forward. Now walk the hands towards the knees, coming to the seated pose. Let's do this two more times. and release. Once more. And release. Unfold the legs, left leg first, then right. Janyu Shir Asana. Keep your left leg straight and bend your right knee upright and support it as you lower the knee to the ground. With a straight spine, reach for your left toes and go to where you are comfortable. You don't need to touch your toes. Support the right knee, bringing it upright and straight. Repeat this on the other side. Bend the left knee and support it as it lowers to the floor and reach for your right toes. Now straighten your left leg. One more time each side. You can also flex the foot to give a deeper stretch. and rest. Now the other side. And rest with your legs extended in front. Vakra Asana. Bend your left knee and wrap your right elbow around your left knee. Extend the left arm forward and sweep it to the left and place your left hand next to your left hip. Release the left arm. Extend the left leg. And now the other side. Bend the right knee and wrap your left elbow around the leg and draw your right arm to the back. Release. And rest. Hastapad Asana. Now stand up with your feet shoulder width apart. Reach to the sky with your hands and bend from your waist. Make sure to keep your spine straight. You can bend your knees if you can't touch the floor. And stand back up from the waist. Now we will rest in Chagna Asana.